So welcome to this introductory tutorial on NS Basic App Studio. The purpose of this uh, intro is to get you set up with App Studio and comfortable with the, the layout of the tool and starting to put some functionality together uh, so that you can start building out uh, your own app. So let's get started by opening up App Studio. We'll assume that at this point you've already installed it. So this is the first screen you'll typically see uh, when you open up App Studio. You get the choice of opening up a sample project if you wanted to. Uh, we won't be doing this uh, in this tutorial, um, but it's potentially useful as you get more used to using App Studio to code and build out your app. You can dig into these sample projects and the sample code uh, to look at how to do some more interesting things. So there's lots of sample code here uh, for how you can use uh, your, your phone camera, for example, uh, saving data uh, to, your, to your app, both as local storage or even a, a local database. And there's lots of uh, variety of, of sample code, sample projects here that you can dig into. Uh, for now, we'll go ahead and cancel this prompt. If you want to get back to the sample projects window, you can go file and open sample project. And then we got the window again. So this is our uh, environment in App Studio, or it's uh, an, what we call an IDE, so integrated development environment. Uh, we have various panels here that will be populated when we, we create a new project. So let's go ahead and start uh, a new project. So we'll go file, new project, and we get a window here to create a new project. We can choose where we're going to save it. Uh, you may wish to save the project into a folder within your cloud storage uh, software. If you have that installed on your machine, uh, that means that your code will automatically be kept backed up. For example, if you use Dropbox or OneDrive or Google Drive, you may wish to put the project in there. You then can choose the language. You can either use basic or JavaScript. We're gonna be using JavaScript for these tutorials. JavaScript is really useful as the scripting language for the web and mobile in general. So it's a good choice for us. You can then choose the form size and this doesn't matter too much. Uh, the idea is that we will be building a responsive, mobile responsive or flexible layout app anyway that will adjust to the size of screen that you're viewing it on. But for convenience, perhaps let's choose the iPhone uh, 6 layout, just so it gives us enough space to play with within, uh, within App Studio. So let's go create. Uh, this project already exists on, on my system, so I'm just gonna overwrite it. Okay, so what we see here, when we create a new empty project, we have a form one that's been created by default. So this is our first page. The terminology we use in App Studio is for each page is effectively called a form. And we will, as we create new forms, we can switch between them. So each form, you can view it as a layout uh, that can have uh, components or controls on it. For now, we've just got form one. Over on the project explorer on the right hand side, we'll be able to see all our forms and the controls that are within each form as we build that out. On the left, we have our toolbox, which is where we can drag and drop all of our controls uh, into our form. So for example, if we wanted to drag a label into our form, we can click and drag and move it around. And this is how we can drag different controls in. But we'll delete that for now and come back to adding uh, controls uh, in a bit. You'll notice that the toolbox has different categories. So some uh, common controls, uh, which are safe to use uh, in any context. We also have Bootstrap 4 controls. And Bootstrap 4, uh, or Bootstrap itself is a, a CSS framework. So CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. And CSS is what we use to style anything on the web. So any buttons or components you see on a website, 
will have been styled to look the way they are by using CSS. And Bootstrap, or, or particularly Bootstrap 4, currently the latest version of Bootstrap, is a CSS framework that makes it easy for us to build out layouts or forms using the Bootstrap styling, which gives us a nice set of styles out of the box. So it means we don't have to worry about coloring in our buttons, uh, making the edges round or, or things like that. We can just use the default Bootstrap styling, which is, which is pretty useful. So there are lots of Bootstrap components or controls that we can use. You'll notice that some, there's an overlap um, between the common controls and the Bootstrap 4 controls. So for example, there's a common label and also a Bootstrap label. And as you can see, they're very similar, but there's a slight styling difference. And if, we, if that's our preference, we can go for the bootstrap style. So let's delete these for the time being. So we can delete them either on the form here, right click and delete, or we can delete them from the project explorer over here. So we'll dig into some of these controls uh, further on in this series.